What's up everyone and welcome back to some more oxygen not included rocket power Today we're gonna be testing whether or not we can well We know we can convert oil to petroleum We're gonna be testing how much petroleum we can get from a single rocket launch and that's kind of the system we have here now It's gonna take probably a few launches before things kind of get up to temperature uh, because we do have sort of a feedback loop going on here. So any petroleum that gets created is going to, you know, go through this little snake deal and it's going to transfer its heat back to the oil, the incoming oil. That way we're not kind of wasting the heat that we've already put in the petroleum. We're sending it back into the oil and preheating the oil with that, trying to get as much as we can out of this to see, you know, how much of the petroleum we can actually like recreate from the heat of the rocket so we're using a petroleum engine so you know hopefully we can get quite a bit of petroleum back from the heat and that way we don't really lose a whole lot of petroleum from launch launching a rocket that's the whole idea anyway that's the premise uh yeah so what's going to happen is our oil is going to come up through this loop here starting down here it's going to snake through and then get dripped up right here let me make sure the automation's all good and all this automation is exactly the same for my petroleum factory video any of them um the setup for testing whether or not the petroleum or the oil has converted to petroleum is exactly the same and then over here is pretty much the same as well so our rocket's going to launch it's going to you know put all its heat into this 2.5 kilograms of hydrogen per tile over here and then that's going to transfer its heat over to this once it's above 510 degrees the door will open stopping the transfer because we don't want to overheat that oil and turn it into sour gas so we got to keep it nice and cool um, and then yeah the rest of the processes will happen and once we get some petroleum it'll you know snake its way through here and start transferring its temperature into these radiant liquid pipes preheating that oil that's uh, incoming into the system uh, that way we harvest every little drop of energy that we possibly can and it looks like we're all ready so let's go ahead and go for our first launch actually do i have hold on here this below there we go i'm paused okay i was like why is no oil going in? all right so currently i've got it set to below 10 kilograms so it looks like we're pumping about 60 kilograms of oil in here every time it goes off and this system could be probably a little better if this door was moved down one but then it would be touching the petroleum down here and i don't want that to happen so for now uh we're just gonna go with this if i set this up like if this works out really well and i want to do more experimenting i might tweak the build a little bit to be a little more efficient but for now we're just going to test this so let's go oh there we go and then we're just going to land the rocket right away we don't need to wait for it to uh to make its trip so you can see on the takeoff here we're about 600 500 but you can see the carbon dioxide up here is actually around 400 and so the carbon dioxide right here is actually sucking some of the heat out of this hydrogen um, until it goes to a vacuum which it's very close to doing and then here's our reland here Oh yeah, see it's much hotter. The carbon dioxide is actually still colder than this area. So we are still uh, sucking some of the heat out of this hydrogen here, but not as much. And as soon as we hit vacuum status, boom, we should be good. One thing is that we're actually heating all the stuff on the floor. I'm just gonna remove that right now uh, because it, it in a, a proper setup, we're not gonna have that issue. We're gonna have uh, like a door opening and closing. We might get regolith or something, but we'll have like a sweeper arm potentially or something. We'll have to figure out some way to get rid of that. Um, I guess it wouldn't be the worst deal to have regolith kind of sitting on here. What does regolith melt at? It might actually melt eventually, so it might be a bad thing. Yeah, 1,400. So it could actually potentially melt uh, the regolith. Um, what happened? Oh, I forgot. Okay. Yeah, I fixed this, and then I reloaded prior to saving fixing this. And then, yeah. Anyway, I had a radiant pipe on this door, so it, it was able to heat the oil up and to bust the, bust the oil. So we've got everything fixed and cleaned up now. We're starting to get our first little petroleum going here. And off one trip here where the hydrogen is actually cool and the oil is cool. How do we get oil in there? Ah, I know why. Um, so we need to wait a small amount of time before we turn this 
the valve on. So no more oil. So you can see the petroleum here is going to be sort of uh, feeding that heat back into the oil. By the time we get down here, we're pretty much the temperature of the incoming oil, which is around 84 degrees. You can see that. And then we've just kind of got a little storage here for our petroleum so we can measure a little bit here. So that was just one launch with everything cool. Like the hydrogen was like 20 degrees. You know, there was no preheated petroleum here in this preheat or yeah, the oil was not preheated in any way. But we've got quite a bit of petroleum now. Let's see. It's kind of hard to measure like this, but I mean, we've got 200 kilograms down here. So, so right now I'm actually really excited. And the reason why I, I imagine this is going to get nerfed because this is kind of ridiculous. Um, this means that a rocket can potentially generate just as much fuel as it used for the launch. But yeah, this right here is exciting. So even if, you know, obviously if you have a radiator like this, you're not gonna be able to use this petroleum. So it's really kind of whatever you get off one launch. So let's do this, let's do this. Now that everything is preheated, let's mop up our, uh, what we got out of here. What's happening there? How did Regolith get down here? Whatever. Uh, so we're gonna mop up our petroleum. And then what we're going to do is we're going to relaunch this rocket. So there's our launch. Let's go ahead and clear the floor here. I like the new doors. I, I like the background of them, honestly. Um, let's go ahead and throw some bunker tiles back up here so we don't get any debris falling down and messing up our, our calculations here. All right, so this was with like preheated petroleum down here. Our preheated oil and the hydrogen was slightly preheated as well so we'll see how much we can potentially get out of this thing we're we still have a thousand degrees in here and we're already up to 250 kilograms so this is looking very promising why is this getting damaged is this actually too hot for the pipes holy cow okay we definitely have more petroleum and we're still we're still making it we still got 900, still got a thousand degrees in here. So what we've just found out is that, and some people may have known this for a while. They, I'm sure I'm probably not the first one to test this, but we can get more petroleum than we use going launching this rocket from uh, harvesting the heat and converting oil, which means that we could potentially run petroleum generators with this as well as relaunching the rocket. This is just, oh, it's still going. This is just blowing my mind right now. Now, again, this is two rocket launches, right? The first one, the initial one to kind of heat everything up. And then a second one, once it, once everything's kind of preheated. But look at this. This is ridiculous. That's insane. You know what I'm gonna do? I wanna measure how much petroleum we actually are getting here. Holy cow. Holy cow. Ooh, ooh. This is over two times. We could launch two rockets with the amount of petroleum we got out of this thing. And we're still going. How hot is it? Eight, it's still 800 degrees, dude. I wonder. I wonder some things. Okay, well, you know, we've already discovered that we can generate a lot more petroleum than we use. So one thing I want to try is I want to try adding a lot of hydrogen in here. So basically uh, like the maximum. So we're gonna add 20 kilograms. So in theory, it's gonna take more heat to heat it up uh, because there's a much larger mass. So one rocket launch is not gonna give me a thousand degrees like it did before, theoretically. Ah, uh, is the flame actually pushing through here and damaging this stuff? It looks like it is. Okay. I thought the flame was just an animation thing. I didn't think it was actually a representation of like where heat is, but apparently I'm wrong. So we would definitely want to move this thing either to the side or down lower or somewhere, you know, obviously not where the flame is hitting. We didn't get nearly as hot there, which makes sense because we had 20 kilograms of, well, actually over here did. So we found out that not only can a petroleum engine create enough heat to create enough petroleum to refill the fuel tank, 
on a single launch, but it can also generate like double or maybe even triple that amount. So this is really good news. Now again, this is may change, I don't know. Um, but as of right now, Quality of, life, Quality of Life Mark II just dropped a couple days ago. So as of right now, it works. And as you can see, that's over triple the amount of fuel we used on the first trip. Oh! Seriously, this is, uh, I'm getting wet just thinking about it. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button. If you have any questions, suggestions, or ideas about this particular thing, leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.